Polish Pilots at East Church. On the 1st of September 1939, Germany invaded Poland with more than 2,000 tanks and over a thousand aircraft. Poland fought bravely, but when the Russians, who had a pact with Hitler, also attacked, Poland surrendered. The campaign had lasted for only 34 days. On the 3rd of September, two days after Germany attacked Poland, Britain and France declared war on Germany. Many of the Polish Air Force personnel escaped from Poland by Romania to France. On the 8th of December 1939, the first Polish pilots began arriving at RAF East Church, where they started their retraining, including learning to speak English. By March 1940, 1,300 Polish airmen were stationed at East Church. They were eager to see action and learnt fast. At the end of March, the Polish Prime Minister in exile, General Sikorski, visited them at RAF East Church. At first, because they had been defeated in such a short time, the RAF was unconvinced about the flying skills of the Polish pilots and reluctant to use them. The German attack had caught the Polish Air Force by surprise, with many of their planes being destroyed on the ground. The Polish aircraft were obsolete, no match for the modern German fighters, and the Luftwaffe had quickly gained air supremacy. On the 30th of May 1940, with the British Army being evacuated from Dunkirk, the Polish pilots at East Church were relocated to Blackpool. Many of the Polish pilots from East Church went on to form number 300 and number 301 Polish bomber squadrons and number 302 and number 303 Polish fighter squadrons. The Polish pilots proved to be first-rate, skillful and courageous. Having fought in Poland and France, they were tough, experienced and battle-hardened. 145 Polish pilots fought in the Battle of Britain and shot down 203 enemy aircraft with 35 probables. After the war, with a new regime in power, many of the Polish servicemen were unable to return home for fear of arrest and imprisonment. East Church, where the Polish pilots started their retraining.